Next topper, pretty huge story. We're following today a big step forward for the push for D.C. statehood. For the first time in 25 years, Congress is going to hold a hearing on making the district the 51st state. A lot of folks couldn't believe it. That hearing will take place in the House Oversight and Reform Committee July 24th. Inez de la Quatera explains what cleared the way for this hearing to finally happen. He was the last Democratic lawmaker in the DMV area to oppose D.C. statehood. But today, Representative Steny Hoyer of Maryland announced he had changed his mind. I was pleasantly surprised by Representative Hoyer's decision today. In an op-ed for The Washington Post, Hoyer wrote, I now believe the only path to ensuring D.C.'s representation is through statehood. Part of the reason Hoyer initially opposed statehood was because it could eventually allow D.C. to tax Maryland residents who work in the city state. He also worried statehood would be, quote, politically difficult. His change of heart as House Majority Leader is key. He helped set the agenda of what's going to be taken up on the floor of the House. If we had Representative Hoyer potentially opposing the, the statehood bill on the floor, that could change some votes or it could prevent the bill from coming to the floor. The movement for D.C. statehood has been gaining momentum, even making its way to the presidential campaign trail in recent months. D.C. Ought, ought to be a state. Today, Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton and D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser celebrated the movement's most recent win that the very first hearing for statehood will be held this summer. Every single Democrat running for president endorses D.C. statehood. And now we have a hearing date. Although the statehood bill is now likely to pass the House, the movement supporters know they've got a tough road ahead. We aren't as hopeful in the U.S. Senate. We don't think Senator McConnell is going to take up this legislation. But they're determined to reach their goal. It would make me and my family and all of our 700,000 neighbors full and equal American citizens. They say their next step will be to make statehood a campaign issue and focus on helping elect senators and a president who support their cause. In Washington, Inez de la Quatera, WUSA 9. So here's a little perspective, though we're all very excited. Bills for D.C. statehood have been introduced every year since 1993, but they've never made it out of committee.